Does it really matter what you eat? Is it going to influence your brain health anyways? Today what I wanted to address was the grain brain connection and I'm going to unravel the controversy. So does it really matter? The answer is absolutely yes. But first let's get into why we're in this predicament. Well, from the year 2020 to 2050, the rate of Alzheimer's disease is supposed to triple. This is impacting far too many individuals. Outside of that though, we're also seeing a rapid increase in autism, developmental disorders, and then we also have acquired brain-based issues such as concussions, traumatic brain injuries, and strokes. And for all of these, having their best life possible depends on the state of their brain health. Now, whenever we eat food, the food we eat doesn't stay localized in our gut. If it's inflammatory, it's gonna ultimately create inflammation-based symptoms in our brain. So what are some of these symptoms that we may experience that tells us our brain's not as healthy as it should be and our diet is playing a role in this? Brain fog, problems with focus or concentration, so ADD, ADHD type symptoms. We also see a lot of behavioral-based issues as well such as irritability, lack of patience, depression, anxiety, and we can even see a lot of anger and frustration, um, specifically within the autistic population. But even beyond then, we will see negative behaviors like that. Also, we'll see changes in memory. But how did we get here? You know, what is it about our diet? Well, the standard American diet is very high in unfortunately, refined grains, okay? Grains are a staple. I know when I grew up, right, every dinner, our filler food, it was bread, it was rice, it was pasta, and the list goes on and on. The problem is we were never meant to have that much grains as part of our regular diet. So whenever we get this excess sugar, not only does our body not know how to use it, and so you can end up with something like type 2 diabetes, but our brain doesn't actually know how to use it. And that's why in the research, they're actually calling Alzheimer's type three diabetes because our brain cannot use it. It creates inflammation. It actually can result in our brain shrinking and no longer connecting right. So once again, what are some of the symptoms you may experience with grain brain? That's due to inflammation. Well, brain fog, headaches, memory issues, focus, concentration, depression, anxiety, irritability, anger, and there's many more. So it does matter what you eat. Reduce the amount of grains to have a healthier brain.